Hi again, we're now going to talk about electric current. Here we have a battery or voltage source and connected to a bulb with some conductive wires. And uh, cur current is uh, the flow of electrons. Called Electrons are also called charge carriers. They do the, they're the mobile charge in this situation. So if we had an electron pop out the uh, back side of the, the battery here, it's going to flow uh, through the wires from the negative side through the bulb and back to the positive side. Okay, we're going to define electric current as the rate of flow of charge through any particular point. For example, if you have this cross section of some strange looking conductor, you kind of slice it down and you have this area here in the middle, the number of charges that flow through this surface in a given period of time defines current. Now current, uh, the direction of current, the convention is that uh, current is defined as the flow of positive charges. Well, we know it's the electrons that actually do the flowing, so uh, we, we call the lack of electrons holes, and that is the convention for the direction of the current, which is a little confusing, so let's talk some more about it. So hole flow, what does that mean? Well. Uh, the static electricity and uh, was discovered long before the actual electron was. So the convention was set that uh, it's in the direction of the flow of positive charge because you had positive and negative, and you know, they didn't know, so they picked one. And if you're given a choice of positive or negative, I think most people would say, "Well, I'd rather be positive." So that's what will make it flow of positive charge. But then the electron was discovered somewhere around the turn of um, this last century, 1900, so 1898, and it was discovered that it's the electrons, the negative charges that actually flow. I said, well, great, now what do we do? It's too late to change. So the convention stuck. So we had to do something, uh, we being not me, but those who were in, <laughs> in the know at the time. Uh, and so they, they decided, well, we're going to define a hole as to be a lack of an, an electron, and that's the, the flow of positive charges. And if you were to sit in a, a row of chairs um, full of people and you have one empty chair on the end and everybody scoots over one chair to the right to fill that empty chair, it's essentially the same as the empty chair moving to the left. And we can see that with a, an applet. Um, so we're going we're to define that. We, the, the measure, um, the convention is actually opposite to what's going on in the wire. The electrons flow, but currents defined as the flow of positive charge. So here's an applet here. If you click on that, and you should get uh, this applet right here. So here we have a, a lattice of uh, conductors, is some kind of metal, and this is like an atom here, one of these single green um, circles with a positive nucleus and here you have electrons in black in the outer energy shell, energy band. These are the valence electrons and they're weakly held so they're free to move. So if they're going to hop this way, notice the electrons, let's start that again, the electrons are moving to the right. Let's keep an eye on the red circle again as I do this. The red circle is moving to the left. So the lack of an electron is actually moving to the left at the same speed the electron is moving to the right. So there's the concept of whole flow. Units of current, well, let's see, Q is in coulombs and T or time is in seconds. So charge per time, current is coulombs per second. There's a name given to that, special name is, is the Ampere, which is also another famous mathematician and physicist from history. He's French. Uh, short is usually said just amp. And examples, uh, it's abbreviated with just an A. An example of that would be you know, 15 amps, 10 milliamps, 25 microamps. And just to give you an idea of the uh, scale of some different currents, uh, a typical computer chips will draw anywhere from a microamp to um, uh, this is a picoamp, actually, I believe. Uh, so very little current. Uh, you can probably feel anywhere from 10 to 100 milliamps, maybe it's a tenth of an amp. Uh, a 60 watt light bulb would draw half an amp at uh, our common 120 volt um, household voltage. To start your uh, motor in your car, the starter motor would 
typically draw 200 amps, albeit for a very brief period of time until you let go of the key. And uh, lightning can have up to 10,000 amps of current in it, so very dangerous. So examples of uh, calculations and problems involving current. So I'll give you a moment to look them over. And uh, if you want to pause your video now and try the problems, and I'll, you can just start it again, and the answers will be up in a moment. Okay, welcome back. Here come the answers. If you have questions on those, you can bring them to class. Now, current is measured with a device called an ammeter. And they also come in the digital and analog varieties. We're going to use the analog variety here just so we can get a, a taste of using both digital in terms of the voltmeter and analog uh, type meters. And uh, okay, that's the other uh, section on current. We'll see you.